David Archuleta has a brand new single he just dropped called Held Together, which basically says, I read the lyrics, I listened to the song. It's not Wait, a bad song. Held Together or Hell Together? Hell Together. Okay, cool. And I think the lyrics are, if paradise is pressure, then we'll go to hell together. Which is quite the- I dig it. Quite the reversal. Yeah. From, I mean, I remember we hosted a thing at Deseret Book in Rexburg. Mm -hmm. For like his new CD. Oh, I mean, I remember when he came to the Civic and I was like, oh, David Archuleta is coming. I wish I could go. I couldn't for some reason, but. So he came out in 2021, came oh. out as gay. Did I you hear like that? I, yeah, I feel like I should have heard about that. Totally missed not. that. <laughs> Funny. And I guess he left the church in November of last year, 2023. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Nope. I didn't hear that either. But now we're hearing about it because he's dro he's dropped this new single. Which also, I feel like he'd be a really fun guest star for Has Been Hotel. <laughs> oh, he might. <laughs> Just yeah. saying, especially I mean, if with he's, a song like that. If he's singing about hell, yeah, that, that would that would be a perfect crossover. <laughs> yeah. Well, and as someone who loves Has Been, I'm really excited to hear this single. And he's not the first singer who's done this. There was Tyler from Neon Trees, Dan mm -hmm. from Imagine Dragons. Mm -hmm. I believe they're leaving the church because of the church's stance on LGBTQ plus issues. Right, right. So, and I guess his mom left the church around the same time. I don't know if it was before or after in mm -hmm. support of David. I'm not sure. Well, and she probably knew before the general public knew anyway. Uh, mom knows her kids. Yeah. 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 Well, and realistically, I wonder if it's not impossible that the church will change its stance within the next few years. And I got to tell you, it was kind of funny. I said, hey, Siri, play David Archuleta held together. Mm -hmm. It played that. And you know, now when you ask Alexa, and I think you can change this in your settings. Now, when you ask Alexa or Siri to play a song, what they do to keep you engaged longer is mm -hmm. to build a playlist and continue playing songs based on the first right. song you played. Uh -huh. So after David Archuleta came a, a number by Paul Cardall. Now, if you've ever been into a Deseret book or listened to um, Sunday music programming, you've probably heard that name. Mm -hmm. He is a prominent LDS musician. Uh -huh. And so it's like, oh, sorry, Apple Music didn't get the memo that oh. those two are no longer related. <laughs> How unfortunate. Yeah. Whoopsie. Well, and honestly, I would put David Archuleta in like, not necessarily an LDS camp, because I feel like he was... Big enough. Maybe like a Kelly Clarkson camp. He did, yeah. He did have some early 2000s contemporary pop hits. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I guess uh, he's pissed off a few LDS people because he did what they call a cringeworthy I'm an ex-Mormon video. Right. Where you state, I'm a this. I'm a person over 40, mm -hmm. and I take ibuprofen for breakfast. <laughs> I'm an ex-Mormon, and I, whatever Been he there. said. <laughs> he said like a string of, I don't know. Uh -huh. five to 10 things, and they didn't really like that. Hmm. But it's uh, it's interesting. Well, you know, it, it's sort of funny to see this I'm an ex-Mormon campaign after the whole I'm a Mormon campaign. Because right, he, and he was famously he did that a figurehead one. on that. Right, right. Yeah. Well, and I remember Brandon Flowers from The Killers, one of my favorite bands, uh, doing a bit for that, and they showed it to me in seminary. And I was like, oh, this is just another reason to love the killer so much. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, I will say that with any organization or group of people, mm -hmm. LDS people love to have celebrities in their camp. Right. I mean, I still hear about Steve Young. Did you know he's a Mormon? Right. Well, I mean, and there also ought to be... look at Scientology. They love having celebrities in their camp, too. I think Tom every, Cruise, John Travolta. I think every religion, right. especially one that maybe people don't always take as seriously, likes to have some prominent figures in their camp to, you know, sort of humanize them. I wonder if we could do an Adam Sandler Hanukkah song ripoff. <laughs> we've got we've got a few months to put it together. I dig that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right? Yeah. But with LDS celebrities. That's funny.